Bro, you're the guy I have been looking for. I wanted to talk to you. I just got a brand new camera. Oh, that's awesome, man. What kind of camera did you get? It's the Sony A6400. Yeah, that's a great camera. I don't know what to do. I, like, I just got in and took it out of the box. But you don't know where to start? Know. Well, you know what? A lot of people don't know where to start. Oh, but thanks. I'll tell you, because that's what's next. There's so many of you out there, just like myself, that gets into YouTube and creating videos and then you're like, oh, I gotta upgrade my camera and go out and buy the Sony a6400. Why? Because it's a freaking beast of a machine and we all love it and it can do some amazing things. But when you take it out of the box and you're sitting there looking at it like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Well, you know what? Let's just break down how I'm doing this. This is the Sony a6400 that I'm shooting on. I'm shooting on with the kit lens, which is a 17 or 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens with a our 3.5 aperture to 5.6 sliding aperture. And you know what? All of that stuff is great and fantastic, but you really don't need to know of any of it. You just want to take it out and create a video like this because that's what you want, right? So here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my cell phone on this so that I can film the back of the camera. I'm going to show you some settings really quickly and how to set up your camera and get you filming now, like in a few minutes. Now. This is the Sony a6400 and on the top is where your on off switch is, which is located by the shutter. And when you turn this camera on, this is the back of the screen that you're going to see. So Sony is awesome because when you turn this camera on and flip the on switch to on, the camera will come up and you can go ahead and take this dial right here and find the movie mode, which is the one that looks like a film. When you toggle this to that position, they, are com they have come up with a whole bunch of shooting information and it'll tell you that you're in movie mode, mode for shooting movies and start looking at the different options they have right here. Simple enough, you can come in and hit OK, and OK is going to be the center of this dial right here. Just press that in, and once you do that, it's going to ask you the very next step. So when you first come into this, it's going to be in program mode, which says right there on the back of the screen, Program Auto is going to let the Sony camera do everything for you. So if you don't want to do anything, you can just leave it on that, see what happens, go from there. But if you want a little bit more adjustment, and I do recommend this, we're going to drop down in the next one's Aperture Priority Mode, which is going to let you set the aperture if you don't know what it is. We're going to go through a lot of these things on the channel, so keep watching, subscribe right now, and let's go. But the shutter's priority is where I want you to be, and there's one major reason for that, because there's a baseline setting that you need to know to start out and to get you filming today. And the very last one would be manual exposure, where you handle everything, and the camera just kind of says, okay. So we're gonna go back to shutter priority, we're gonna hit the okay button, which is in the center of this dial, and now you are set up. Now, I want to go inside of the menu because there's a few quick things inside of the menu. When you hit the menu button up here, you are going to come into this and there is a lot of stuff in there. So we're gonna come in here and there is 14 pages underneath the first setup. So this is the first setup and then it says right here, 14, one of 14. And we're gonna start going through these really quickly. And for me, I shoot everything on aspect ratio 16 by nine. So you'll click on it, select whatever ratio you want. And that's set up. We're gonna go through two, nothing important, three, nothing important. Then we're gonna get over to the fifth panel inside of one and it's focus mode. Focus mode, all you need to do is find AFC, which is autofocus continuous. Set it on that, go back into the menu, come down here to focus area, make sure that that is set on wide and it's going to be the simplest way for you to do this. Hit the okay button, go back to the menu and then we're gonna go all the way through all of these because there's really not much else in here I wanna mess with for starting out. And we're gonna go to slot number two. Slot number two is the video area and you will see that exposure mode is now set to priority. That's why it asked you. Here you have your recording settings, which you can set up for 24 frames, 30 frames, 60 frames, or you can even go to 120 frames if you wanted to do slow motion. But I would recommend either picking the 24 or the 30 frames, setting it there and moving on. File format will allow you to do 4K or 1080. I do shoot only on 1080 right now until my computers are upgraded. And if you want to do simpler processing or have an older computer, it's smart for you to go ahead and just leave it on 1080 for now. And you are done with that. 
Now here's the last little thing in movies that we really want to jump on. AF drive speed, that's the autofocus and how fast it will actually autofocus on something. I put it on fast. The tracking sensor is responsive and not on standard. You can literally just throw this thing on and start shooting. Now there's a bunch of stuff we're gonna get to in the future and talk about more of this, like you can connect to your cell phone and you can collect a Bluetooth and you can change your audio on how the actual camera itself takes audio in. But for now, we're not too worried about that kind of stuff. And on the corner of the camera right here is where your record button is and you're gonna hit record. And now you are back on the Sony 6400 and everything is set up recording and it's gonna kind of do its own thing. You wanna get started today, this is gonna be the quickest way. Hit those couple of buttons, go ahead and pause this, stop it and rewind if you need to, cause I go through things pretty quickly, but you can go ahead and find everything you need right there, get it going, start recording and then the best way to learn is that every video you do, try to tr learn one or two things to add on to it because you know what, this is an endless journey of stuff to learn. And this Sony camera is so amazing, but we're gonna keep going down through everything I've ever learned about this Sony camera. We're gonna do this with other cameras I get. We're gonna do this for photography and video, so either the one you're working with and a whole lot more. But that's just what I'm dealing with today. And I had somebody ask me this question about a small walkthrough for this one, so that's it. Now, coming up very soon, I'm going to give you a few tips about composing their very first video you make. And if you wanna see that, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment, ask your questions, it might turn into a video. But until then, I gotta go find out what's next.